Sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Baby, sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. You can sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Baby, sit back as I break it down. Break it down. Break it down. You can sweat back as I break it down. What is up, everyone? Uh, I'm back with another fucking unboxing because I spend my money on a lot of weird shit. But anyways, we're gonna jump right into it. As this title suggests, this is the God of War Ragnarok Collector's, collector's Edition. And not just any Collector's Edition. It is the Jotner Edition. This is the highest Collector's Edition that they, that they made. They made two versions. Uh, the other one is blue. Uh, this one's yellow. So, uh, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. And just for all those who are gonna like, oh, you opened it too fast, blah, 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 whatever. Um, I did pre-open this box so I can get the goddamn digital code so I can play my game. But uh, other than that, everything else is still packed in here fresh. So we're just gonna slide this bad boy on out. Once. It's just vacuumed in there. All right, so this is how the box looks. Looks like a treasure chest. All right, just, again, just a chest all the way around or anything of that nature. All right, so we're going to pop this sucker open right quick. Excuse the box, I had to let go some gas. All right, and right off the rip, we are met with the steel case box steel case uh box which i believe is completely fucking useless because this game comes with a digital code and not a physical disc but for the sake of it there we go and then back on it has some norse god scripture uh since i am far from my camera i am going to be posting like screenshots of this stuff uh later and you can see it on my other social media Alright, and on this side here we have the D and D dice that it came with. So I'll open this up real quick. Ooh, these dice actually feel slightly bit heavy, which I enjoy. I like the bag. The bag is has the um, the dwarf symbol on it. I've been thinking about getting this symbol tatted. Actually, I like how it looks. And I do need a God of War tattoo, so I have to think about this one. Not too sure yet, uh, but this this is the bag, and let's see if we can get a. Ooh, so they look a little steelish. Again, I will be posting all of this stuff on the on social media, and I'll do like a roundup for it at the end. But they look a little steelish, which is really cool. Um, like I said, they do have a tiny bit of weight to them, which is I, I enjoy. And this 20 die, this 20 sided dice is a little bigger than most regular uh, 20 sided dice, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna roll, see if I can get a nat 20. Give me one second. I got an 11. And that sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck, but it's not a fucking one, but it's also not a 20. So we're gonna put these back in here and then place this back inside. This little thing. I'm just gonna place this inside. All right, and then we have this. We have two little characters. I believe they're from the game. Once I get a good look at them, uh, this one looks like Faye. Uh, in fact, let me see if I can move a little bit closer. All right, cool. So yeah, this one looks like Faye, I believe. Has her sword, it has her markings, so I believe that was Faye. And this one, I don't know. I don't 
think I've met her in the game yet. Full disclosure, I have been playing the game for about four days. So this one I think is uh, maybe Kratos' wife. Uh, not too sure. But this is really fucking cool. And these drones, have, they have some weight to it too. Like you can actually use this like as a paperweight. So this is pretty cool. Uh, little thing. Alrighty. Oh, I, say, I know there's one more compartment. So once you lift this up, we can go into, we can go in depth a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna go this side down. And I believe these are pins, yep. So we got three pins here. We have a owl, a wolf, and a bear. Uh, I believe these are all creatures that uh, Atreus can transform into. This is, again, this is just speculation. This is only me playing four days of the game or anything like that. So um, I believe that these are creatures that he can transform to in the game. Uh, Bruce, I've seen him. I'm not going to say that actually because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played the game yet. So, yeah. These are all pins. These are pretty cool. Uh, put that back here. All right. And then this is a map. I'm not going to open up the map right now, but again, at the end, I will. But this is a map. And you can see the more contents of this at the end. And then here is another bag. I'm not too sure what's in this one. I know it's not another set of dice, but if it was, that'd be fucking dope. Uh, let's see. I do believe the la the Stone Mason edition for the God of War for God of War 2018 one came with the ring. And this that's what this is. This is also a ring. Ooh, these. The engraving's not like spectacular, but it is nice. Uh, this is the ring for this God of War Collector's Edition. The other one can uh, the other one that came in the God of War um, 2018 one uh, was way too big for me to wear like normally or anything like that. Uh, this one, no, this was actually a lot better. I can actually wear this one on any figure if I choose to. Let's see if it fits in my wedding ring. So if it does, I think I'll change this. Uh, it's a little loose on my wedding ring finger, uh, which kind of sucks. But like any other of my fingers, like this one fits pretty good. That one. Thumb is pretty good. So I'm pretty sure this was meant to be a thumb ring. Now, now that I see how well this fucking fits on the thumb, pretty sure it's meant to be a thumb ring. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. i put that back in there and probably never wear it like I did the other one. Um... I think that's it for the compartments on the inside. All right, so before we get to this big hunk of thing right here, I just want to put everything back. Just give me one second. All right, so I'm just going to close this part back up. I don't know which side goes where. This side. All right, so now let's unveil what's in here. Ooh, it's just a chest. No. All right, so you do have the, uh, it's basically like a prophecy chest that you'll see in God of War. I don't think this exact one's in the game. I think this is such a generic one, or this is the one that we saw in uh, the end of God of War 2018. All right, so now let's just, pull this little flap down this is a magnetic flap which is awesome now let's pull this down to reveal the secrets bada bing what we have here ladies and gentlemen is Thor's notorious famous hammer Mjolnir let me take that I learned how to take something out of a box. There we go. It's a good thing half this stuff is recyclable. Uh, all right, so. 
Here it is. This is the hammer that Thor will wield in God of War Ragnarok. I'm trying to close this back up real quick. There we go. This is the hammer that he, uh, Thor wields in God of War Ragnarok. If you've seen any of the promotions, you'll see uh, this hammer. Look at the detail in this motherfucker. Look at the motherfucking detail. And then here's the backside. And then here is the handle. Oh, she's covered. Anyways. This is a beautifully crafted. This thing has some weight. Like, definitely made of plastic. But, like, if I was to hit someone with this, they're definitely taking some damage. Uh, but this beautifully crafted fucking hammer is amazing. I'm not going to lie. Definitely better than the fucking hammer than, uh, that Marvel created for their Thor. Uh, for their rendition of Thor. But, um, it's, it's beautiful. Um... I can really can't say enough of it. It just it thinks speaks for itself, as you can clearly see. I try to get some more glamour shots of this again after and the end. So that is about it for this collector's edition box. Um let me put this down real quick on the floor. Talk, talk to you guys. Uh, so yeah, that's that's wraps up this uh, collector's uh, this unboxing. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do another unboxing. I don't know when I'm going to put another video up because that's just life for me. I try to get things in order so that way I can do things more consistently. But until then, you will just get sporadic ass fucking videos. Um, I do uh, upload videos on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook Reels and stuff like that. So if you're interested in any type of Pokemon cards or anything like that, you can follow me on those uh, those social media platforms and take a look. Also, uh, this pop wall you see behind me, some of these pops are on sale. So if you want them, please just DM me on any of my social media platforms. Ask for the price. The price will be the uh, whatever is on the Funko app. Uh, all right. So until the next video, I'll see you guys in, uh, later. Peace.